Hello, hello, my lovely, lovely video viewers. Why do I keep on getting these words mixed up? Why can't I say viewers? Viewers. My mouth doesn't seem to work. In any case, this is what if Deku was essentially a video game robot. If that makes sense. Deku's born, and he looks like this. And what can Deku do? It depends on what's in his gaming cartridge on his back. For example, if he had, like, Mario in there, said gaming cart cartridge would turn into a jetpack, allowing him to jump to Mario's heights. And if he had Legend of Zelda in there, his arms could turn into swords. If he had Pokemon, that's the most OP one he has. Every type in said game its abilities would be available. Flying, he can fly in the air with metal wings. Dark, he can turn invisible. Ghost, he can phase through objects. Fire, he can he has flamethrowers bombs. Water, he has high pressure water cannons. Grass. He can shoot vines out of his body. You get the point. So let's start with the what if. Deku would be born looking like this. As Sashi would be very much so confused. Inko's ma Inko would be confused. The doctor would be confused. Everyone would be confused. So I'm skipping up to the time that Kapsi's Kropsky's bullying a kid who would be Jiro. Why is it Jiro? Because she's the only person in the show that actually has a tech quirk. That I'm aware of, anyway. Quirk or quirk? You tell me in the comments. In any case... Yeah. So, that can get annoyed. So he takes out the Legend of Zelda out of his bag. <laughs> What you gonna do with the, that game, Deku? Something you don't expect. Deku puts it, puts the cartridge in his back. As Deku's arms turn into swords, like Deku turns one of his arms into a sword. Uh, that that's a little excessive, don't you think? <laughs> Deku would jump forward. You asked for this, Kopsky. Also explodes Deku's face. Hey, <laughs> still as weak as ever. But Bakugo doesn't know that Deku had done some anime stuff. Oh really, Kopsky? Deku would be behind Bakugo. you you've already lost. You just don't even know it yet. As all of a sudden, Kopsky would get a would get dozens of cut marks throughout his entire body. What the hell? How? Deku's blue arm would turn back into a hand and help up Jiro. As Deku's arms would turn back to normal. Which are these giant metal gaming gauntlets. Normal for him anyway. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Your name is Zuko Midoriya. You can just call me Deku. Okay then, Deku. Wanna be fun? Sure thing. Are we gonna do anything about Kopsky? Eh, his goons will do something about him. You sure? Who wants to play Nintendogs? Oh, me! As Deku would... You know, transform into a gaming machine. Yes, he can do that. I mean, he's literally a Nintendo Switch, but sentient. And is also a, a badass fighting robot. Yeah. In any case, yeah. So, him and Jiro play Nintendo, while Sakatsuki is bleeding on the ground. Please, Jenny, do something. What do we do? Get a team.
teacher or something. Uh, right, Kotsky. Don't call me Kotsky. Call me Master. We went over this. Uh, I really don't like to call him Master. Would you please just go get some help? I'm bleeding on the ground, crying out loud. The bullies would get Bosco some help, but Bosco would be covered in scars. So, Bosco goes on his rant. I'm skipping until then, yeah. Actually, I'm going to skip until Kowski wants to fight Deku again. You won't beat me this time, Deku. Oh, really, no. As Deku would proceed to pull out Nintendo. <laughs> What's that cheap little game that do to me? Deku puts it in his back, and all of a sudden he turns into a giant wolf. Uh-oh. As Deku would charge down Bosco and hit him with his metal robot tail. Deku would remove Nintendogs from the slot and turn back to normal. But Bosco is an out down for the count that easy. He jumps back up like some kind of wrestler and explodes Bosco and explodes Deku's back. But luckily for Deku, he has reactions of a robot. Like if something happens he's able to track it with you know those cameras that are able to track how fast a bullet is moving? That's essentially Deku. So he, one of his arms blocks the blow. Specifically the red one. Deku then decides You know what? Why don't I just try out this new game? As Deku would proceed to pull out a new Samus game. Wait, give me a moment. As Deku would take said Samus game, and all of a sudden one of Deku's arms, specifically the blue one, would turn into a cannon. As Deku would all of a sudden gain the ability to turn into a ball, roll right around, roll circles around Bakko, Bakugo can't track him, Deku appears behind him and blasts Bakugo with his new cannon. Deku would remove the game from the slot and he would, and his body would return back to normal. And Bakko's goons decide to get involved at this time, but instead of using his new Samus, Deku's gonna use his new um, Kirby game where he proceeds to take it into the slot, and all of a sudden, Deku gets a vacuum. And what he does with this vacuum is he vacuums up the kid with wings feathers, and all of a sudden he gains those wings. Except he fires out said wings like blades. Deku decides, hmm, this is pretty cool, but why don't I try something else out? So he goes ahead and uses another part of that game, which is, if you didn't know, Kirby Stall Allies. That's the game which he picked. And said game, he he essentially fires out the heart can. He uses the heart ability that Kirby has, and poof. But those goons are on Deku's side as long as the game is in its cartridge. So Deku tells Bakko's goons to go take him to the... Uh, teachers, and then once they do that, Deku removes the game from the cartridge, and all of a sudden they gain re they regain their ability to control themselves. Deku really liking his new powers, considering he gets a considering the fact that every time Nintendo releases a game, which is compatible with it, which is compatible with them, he can. He can do some gnarly stuff. And also, fun fact about Deku's Quirk, if there's a new Nintendo product, which is going to be their next big gaming thing, Deku can take said product and install it in him so all of the games that would go into that thing are all of a sudden compatible with Deku. 
so yeah. That's so that dude is joyful that he now has the abilities of Samus and Kirby on his side. But he doesn't have the super strength and Kirby's copy ability is toned down. Otherwise, Deku would essentially just be a god. Literally, I mean, like, Kirby is able to destroy an entire planet with a single karate chop. I am not giving Deku that power. So, he can just copy stuff to a degree, and he can... And it depends on the game whether he can transform into a giant mech or turn people onto his side. By that, I mean mind control them. Because, like, really. In any case, Deku won a fight with Sakugo again, and we're on to the start of the anime. Deku plugs himself in because he was running low on battery, and yes, he does run on battery, and charges. He sits down and relaxes. As the teacher throws up the papers, blah, 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 Bakugo goes on his speech about how he's going to be the best ever, and Deku begs to differ. Bakugo, if you're really going to be the best ever, you could at least beat me in a game of Smash Ultimate. But that game's for babies. Of course I can beat you. Fun fact, Bakugo lost. 11 to nil. Like, Bakugo did not win a single round. If you can't even beat me in Smash Ultimate, how are you supposed to be the greatest hero ever? Well, well, can All Might beat you in a game of Smash Ultimate? Probably. I mean, he's the strongest person on pl the planet. I mean, he probably should be good at Smash Ultimate. Crap. And that's why I'm ending this episode off. I'll see you all again, my lovely, lovely vi viewers. Yes, I nailed it this time. I can finally say viewers. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.